Now, everybody in the world has knows by now that Jeffrey Epstein is dead. But here's something the world probably didn't know because it passed very quietly under the radar of the mainstream media. And I didn't even know this had happened. This was uh, done back in August, and I'm just hearing about it now. A former police detective turned investigator has been found dead only days after publishing a book that exposes a high-level government pedophile ring. Which I, I'm sure is a total coincidence. I'm sure that's that's all it was. Now, 58-year-old Mark Minnie was found with a bullet in his head on August 14th, but many people are refusing to believe the official police version that he committed suicide at his friend's farm near the coastal port city of Elizabeth in South Africa. Because, you know, that's one of the first things people do after having such a monumental life event like publishing a book that exposes the crimes of a lot of very rich, elite people. Now, the book details the corruption within the last apartheid government of South Africa and the implicated officials all the way to the top. I mean, this including the Defense Minister Magnus Malan and the Minister of the Environmental Affairs John Wiley. Now, this guy had done in a tremendous amount of effort digging up all the crimes, particularly with regards with regards to crimes against children, and putting them all together in a book and exposing it to the world. Because if you went to the police with it, it would mysteriously disappear. So this guy spent a tremendous amount of time investigating, researching talking to victims, etc., to get as much information as possible to put it out there and let everybody know that these crimes were being committed by elites inside of South Africa. And when you have people that rich, that powerful, it's very likely they were connected to a lot of very rich and powerful people in other countries as well, especially given the relationship that a lot of imperialist countries had with South Africa. Now, the book was published on August 5th. Only nine days later, he was found dead. Officials claim they found a note at the scene, but his family don't believe it at all. And rightfully so. I mean, he was very obviously murdered uh, the same way Jeffrey Epstein was murdered. I mean, this there just keeps being more and more evidence that... There's a lot of dirty dealings among the elite in various countries. In various countries, well, that shouldn't really be a surprise. I mean, that's kind of pretty obvious. You don't get up to that position without doing largely unethical things to begin with. So, it's interesting how this accusation of pedophilia will not go away. It keeps increasing. And a lot of the information now is starting to come out. Now, before, it was accusations made by complete crackpots with no evidence to back them up whatsoever. Now, there's tangible evidence for these crimes, and now people are starting to pay attention. So, the conspiracy theory people who all along have been screaming this don't get to say, we told you so, because you didn't know so. You didn't have any evidence of what you were claiming. In fact, most of it was complete nonsense, like the whole comet ping pong thing. It was a complete conspiracy theory, conspiracy nut job theory. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but but it did. So here's another guy, another guy who ended up losing his life because he wanted to expose the crimes of many of the rich elite. In this particular case, inside. Of South Africa. So Mark Minnie, I think, should be regarded as a hero and definitely a martyr for the truth. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.